Ladies and gentlemen, please meet the new Lieutenant Governor and his lovely wife, Mr. and Mrs. Kevin Buchanan. Now all that's left is making it official. Kevin? so long? I mean, well, what, does he know what's wrong with her? What's he doing? Al, Al, they've been doing a lot of tests. It's going to take a while, all right? <coughs> How could she get sick so fast? Hey, listen, do you know what's wrong with her? I mean, she's really in a bad way here. So you have to ask some questions. Ms. Walsh, this blow to the head you sustained, how did that happen exactly? Um, somebody slammed me up against a wall. And you lost consciousness? Yeah, for a long time. That's when they threw me in the dumpster. A dumpster with garbage? Yeah, she was in there all night and all day. What has that got to do with anything? I'm trying to determine how she could have gotten this. Oh, so, so you know what this is? I need you to think carefully, Miss Walsh. Who have you had intimate contact with since the incident? Al. And you, sir, you drove her here? Well, we were, we were all at one of the casinos together, and uh, we brought Marcy to the hospital when she got sick. I need to get blood and chest x-rays from both of you. You could also be infected. What? What do I have? Blair? Blair? This is very strange. Uh, what are you doing here? Hello, Gabrielle. I'm actually looking for, um, Walker Lawrence. Have you seen him? Yes. You have? Yeah. <laughs> As a matter of fact, we were just saying hello to each other when these two security men came and just picked him up and... Where did he go? Well, they took him over to this private elevator here. Do you know where these go? No, I haven't got a clue. But I have to tell you, those two men look like they meant business. He's here. Too much already, Manning. 
Well, you got your cut of Mitch's holdings. Not to mention you get to keep this beautiful life you've made for yourself. Living in the shadows like some freeze-dried corpse. And I'm the one that had to take the flack for being the brother of Mitch Lawrence. I'm not the most popular guy in town. I've given you plenty in return. A new, much improved face. Second hand. When you showed up at my door, you looked like you belonged in a sideshow. It's thanks to me you got your revenge on Mitch. Not to mention more of his money than you gave me. You're not suffering. And it's thanks to my beautiful face. You've got a shot at getting your ex-wife back. Those cute little kitties. Shut up about them. And what are their names again? What do you want, Flynn? If you don't stop, Whoever's asking questions around here about me, I'll make sure the lovely Blair starts asking questions in Landview about you. That would be disastrous for Todd Manning now, wouldn't it? This elevator doesn't work without a special key. <clears throat> Uh, those are the two men that took Walker into the elevator. Okay, thanks. I really don't belong here. I've got to go home. Yo, Gabby! Where's the commit? He chasing one-armed bandits? <laughs> bandits? Where? <laughs> Nigel is shredding his angel wings. I'm very sorry to hear that. Oh, don't be not frightful. If a little loud. So where's the dead for you? I haven't gotten you a ring yet. Charming as always, Roxy. Thanks. <laughs> Commissioner Buchanan is back in Landview, and I am trying to meet Max and Al here, but uh, <clears throat> they haven't showed up yet. Oh, they were here earlier with Miss Marcy Walsh watching young Miss Buchanan playing billiards. Really? Do you know where they went? I don't know. You're the one with a cop boyfriend. I haven't the foggiest. Doctor, she seems worse. Just try and rest. The antibiotics should start to help you soon. Okay. Is there any neck stiffness? Headache? Uh. No, not really. Just try and rest. Okay. Can I see you both outside, please? Sorry, I caused all this trouble. Okay. Some of the tests are back. They show you were both exposed. So it's going to depend on your immune systems as to whether or not you develop symptoms or simply fight off the infection without incident. This infection germ... Staphylococcus. What Miss Walsh has is called a staph infection. But this is not an ordinary case. It hit her real fast. And that's what's troublesome. A staph infection can be a minor irritant, easily handled, but... in this case... She's gonna make it, right? I mean... she's gonna recover. The high-dose antibiotic we have her on should work. The particular strain she has must have come from something in the dumpster. She had a laceration on her scalp. We're going to have to watch her very carefully for any brain involvement. Oh, excuse me. Are you telling us everything? Uh, this infection has elements of a particular virus, which doesn't really make sense. In any case, I'm going to put you both on a shot of gamma globulin, which will boost your immune systems. So if you follow me. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. After this shot, then what? We watch you under close observation. Uh, no harm done, everyone. Uh, maybe to the club ceiling. Let's uh, give the commissioner some quiet so he can do his job. A few more inches, it could have crushed Kelly, and it terrified that poor little girl. How could something like this happen? I don't know. But I sure as hell am going to find out. Oh, sweetheart. 
You guys, I'm fine. Really, you can drink. Uh, just think you're right. right. It's just an enormous shock to your nervous system. Sorry I Good. tackled you like that, Kelly. Oh, my gosh, Christian, please don't apologize. I mean, if it hadn't been for you, I probably would have been killed by the chandelier. The important thing is you're all right. Are you all right? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. You're the one that took the fall. I landed on top. <laughs> well, the both of you could have been killed. We're fine. Nora. Yeah, um, what happened to the little girl? Oh, her mother took her home. She was completely unfazed, and I don't know, children are remarkable. Yeah, they are miracles. <laughs> I want to know who's responsible for this. Kev, as far as I can tell, this was an accident. I was just about, point, just about to appoint my brother into office, and then all of a sudden, the chandelier fell, and oh. I don't know, and my uncle Bo says it was an accident, so... Oh, yes, I would like to say something. I think it's absolutely disgraceful. I mean, what, what kind of maintenance staff do they have here Good that question. something should happen? Police will find your necklace. Dory, what is it? What's wrong? Oh, well, what, while Kelly was having her near-death accident, someone stole my diamond necklace. What next? As long as you're okay, nothing else matters. You're not just putting on a brave face, are you? No, no. I mean, I got a couple little scratches, but I'll live. Thank God. Mm. Yeah, well, I'll second that. Something like this should not have happened. Oh, Governor, you have enough on your plate. You don't need to take responsibility for the maintenance of the Landia Country Club. <laughs> Would you feel better if we postponed it? Oh, no. No, I cannot wait to be the wife of Lieutenant Governor. Well, don't worry about it then. I won't leave you until we officially make it official. Great. Thanks. Thank you. <clears throat> this whole place should be sealed off. Whoever took that diamond could get away. You know, I really wish she had a, been in Atlantic City. Natalie was so great. She, she won first place. Wonderful. That's, that's great. Yeah, but, uh, you know, and then she got creamed by the Black Widow. But, you know, she gave a really big pro player run for her money. Well, not really. Hey. Well, you know, you'll beat her next time. I know it. Well, I am just glad that nobody was betting on me. That would have been way too much pressure. How are you doing? I still feel a little weird, but I think I'm better. You hear that, Al? Hey, that's great, sweetie. Really glad to hear it. You know that you should lay back and rest a little more because you want to get your strength up, you know? Hey, Doc, good news. Marcy thinks she's feeling better. That's great. The antibiotic is obviously working. I consulted with several colleagues, and this antibiotic should do the trick. The main thing now is to make sure that neither of you is developing symptoms. Well, I'm, I'm feeling fine. It's good. No nausea, vomiting, headache? No, no, nothing. And your son? Al? Al? Uh, me? How are you feeling? Uh, great. Just, um, just peachy. Al, yeah. Al, what's happening? Uh, I don't know. I'm just achy, cold. That's how it started with me. I mean, Al, I can't not you now. Here, you lie down. I'm going to lie down right here. Let's take it easy. Uh, no thanks. Uh, stuff gives me bags under your eyes. 
The bottom line is, Todd, we need each other. I love it when you get all warm and fuzzy. <laughs> you took over my life, my past, your ugly mug. <clears throat> and in return, you were supposed to make sure any questions about Mitch's kid brother went straight to Landview and stayed there. Now someone's traced me to Atlantic City. That's a deal breaker. Are you saying you want to be outed? Listen up, Todd. I'm quite serious. I picked up the tab for months while you recuperated. I told you every excruciating detail of my life so you could become me. If you can't pull it off, I did pull it off. Mitch believed I was his long-lost little brother up until the great moment I had the pleasure of telling him the truth and sending him to hell where he belonged. Where he's waiting for you with bated breath. I'm here for the duration. Then you'd better find out who's after me. You now the Landview PD is going to trace Mitch's money all the way back to Todd Manning's wallet. I don't give a damn about the money. But you'd do anything to keep Blair in your life? If she finds out who you really are, you don't stand a chance. It's not gonna happen. Ever. I'm Stan Walker Lawrence. Then you'd better make damn sure nothing and nobody screws this up. Who's your mama? Sweetheart, sometimes you gotta build up a whole head of steam before you pop off. Oh, dear. I think mine's defective. That's because you're boring it to death. I beg your pardon? Hmm. You ain't got no technique. You need hands-on. See? You gotta put something into it. Uh, hey. Come on. Come on. <laughs> yeah, that's better. Maybe you should spin for two. Oh, I can't split my hocus pocus. You got a sweet talker. How do you know she's a she? Because I've been with every machine in this casino. Spare me the details. No, come on, come on, step on it. No, Nigel, come on, she's gonna get are home. you sure that Max didn't say where he was headed? What do you care about Max for? What's going on with Big Bo? Like I told you before, you should never give the cow away for free, remember? Milk. It's milk. Don't give the milk away for free. Look, if Max shows up, wants to know where I am, tell him I've left, okay? I'm going home where I belong. No, I beg of you. No, just one little measly jackpot before I fall prey to repetitive motion disorder. Darling, please. Honey, but, uh... Hey. Yeah. Is it catching? Well, hey, big guy. <laughs> you work here? I'm not a casino employee. You're not, that is so great. Maybe you could show me around Atlantic City. What do you say? I have an adult beverage for you. Cheers. I mean, you know, share the bed. Uh, you know, I mean, that could be good. Indeed. Actually, I'm getting second wind. Yeah, I'm tired, too. Thank you to me, baby! You what she said. Not much. I, 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 I can't.
can handle my end, Flynn, there's no need to jump the gun. You jeopardized my entire operation. This place was perfect. No one had any idea I was here. And anonymity doesn't come cheap or easy. Now, thanks to you, I have to walk away from the whole setup. It's so cozy. I'm not happy. You? I gotta live with your face the rest of my life. Yes, we're stuck with each other for now. But if you screw this up, all bets are off. You know, that's a really scary suit. Thank you. All better now? Mm. Who's bankrolling this uh, <clears throat> PI? Oh, this, this slime only Kevin Buchanan. Don't worry about it. I figured out a way to get rid of him. See that you do. You've got a hell of a lot to lose. Thank you. I mean, if you hadn't been there. I don't even want to think about that. You know, me either. I mean, you risked your life for Kelly. You didn't even hesitate, so... You would have done the same thing, Kevin. Yeah. So, uh, where are you working now? Where am I not working is a better question. At, um, Crossroads. Then the hospital. How about coming on as a personal assistant? I'm putting my staff together. This town has completely gone to the dogs since I was last here. Murder by chandelier, grand theft? What is wrong with you people? This town is a cesspool. Well, Vickers, looks like we're attracting the bottom feeders now. Explain how harassing me is going to locate that necklace. Dorian, if I were you and you wanted to keep your, the rest of your valuables, I'd steer clear of this guy. Are you insinuating that, that I'm a suspect here? Please, uh, search me. Search me right here and it, now. As much as I would just love to pat you down, Dave, I think that the person that took that necklace has already left this place a while ago. Wow. Top-notch police work. David, really? Dorian. Oh, Dorian, come on, don't defend him. You know I'm right. You come by the station tomorrow, we'll take your statement. All right, be sure and bring your insurance certificate. Tomorrow? Why can't I just do it right now? because we don't need it to process the scene. Oh. Fine, I'll be down there first thing in the morning. All right. David, would you please drive me home before someone steals your car? Absolutely. <laughs> Commissioner, oh, look, yeah. I, I, I know I'm not on the force anymore, but if there's anything I can do to help... No, no, Antonio, what I want you to do right now is help yourself. You stay away from Carrie. Commissioner, you don't really think that I cut those brake lights, do you? I think it's unlikely. Unlikely? Yeah. But with all the evidence pointed at you, it doesn't matter what I think. I think it would be a good idea if you got out of town for a while. Uh, you told me to stick around. I know that, but now I changed my mind, okay? I think the more distance you put between yourself and all the rest of this, the better. And... Stay away from Carrie. I mean it. What aren't you telling me, Antonio? What happened between you and Carrie? Two martinis, rapido. Help yourself. I made them last time. Hop to it. That way I can add just the right amount of arsenic. What have you all been out of shape about? We should be celebrating. Come it's on. It's been your diversion. The falling chandelier almost got my niece killed. I didn't have anything to do with the falling chandelier. You want to know what my diversion was going to be? Get this. It's going to flip off the lights. Brilliant. And why did you give me the signal? We should have changed that signal a long time ago. You've never gotten it right once. The signal was to make you start screaming. Because apparently, during the chaos, you found an opportunity to take the necklace off. Now, that was... that was some pretty good thinking. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Very funny. Hand over the necklace. You have it. What are you talking about? Yes. 
Yes, you took it while I was distracted with the chandelier falling. I wasn't anywhere near you when the chandelier fell. Oh, we've... Oh, no way. If you think you're gonna cheat me out of my cut, you think again. I am not leaving this house until I get that necklace. I'll stay here all night if I have to. Gabrielle, we got company. Hopefully she's off someplace having a lot more fun than we did. Yeah. Want to grab a drink or something while I look for Matthew's uh, game no, box? No, thank you. Fine. Okay, why don't you check under those cushions? Could be under there. I'm going to look under the bed. All right. Did you see uh, Daniel Colson's beady little eyes when he uh, went into take charge mode? I found it. Cool. You know what? You've got to beat this guy in the election. Because the thought of working with him if he's the head honcho... I know. Murder-suicide. <laughs> He, he so thinks he's going to win this. That's why it's going to be so much fun, you know, in the election to just crush him like a cockroach. <laughs> I think you really, really, really want me to win. Yep. <laughs> oh, I hope the song isn't any omen of it. Huh? The song. You remember we danced at uh, Roadies to this song and won second place instead of first. Yeah. You know what? We should have won that contest. Yeah, we should. But you never quite got that one combination to... Takes two to tango, Buster. Yeah. Takes the stepper and the steppy. Now, I remember my big toe being like black and blue at the end of the night. You put it under my foot. I'll bet that you still can't do the combination. Oh. Oh, really? I bet I can. You know the one I'm talking about? The toe, toe. Oh, God. So somebody actually cut the brakes? Uh, you, but, but not me. Oh, of course not you. You don't think that Carrie... N no, no, I, I don't even think she would know how. Uh, plus, it, I mean, she... She could have been killed. Yeah. You know, maybe you, maybe you should go away for a little bit. Uh, honey, I, I don't want to leave you. Well, you could come on my trip with me. I don't think I'm really qualified to be your assistant, Kevin. I, mean, I don't know zip when it comes to politics. Well, you keep your head when you need to. That's the kind of person I need to have around. Yeah, but with the wedding now and all, I... Yeah, but you know what? One job, it's got to be easier than holding up two. And I pay extremely well. Better than the hospital or the bar gig combined. I can guarantee you won't be slept around boxes or mopping floors. I'll tell you what, just think about it. So? I don't really see myself following your brother around in a suit. But we do need the money. You got money in the bank. Yeah, until the wedding. Yeah, but it's not like we're hurting for money. I mean, I don't take a job that you're going to hate. He's having the same symptoms you had, Ms. Walsh. Was I that bad? You've got him on the antibiotics, right? Hopefully he'll respond the way Ms. Walsh did. Yeah, but he looks sick. I don't think I look that sick. Mr. Holden, I need you to inform me if you begin to show symptoms. Oh, I, I will. Hey, Marcy, come on. It took quite a while for your fever to come down. Now it's tough. He's going to be cracking jokes by midnight. Yeah. He's all right. We'll, we'll drive back to Landview and... Uh, We'll have tons of wild and crazy stories to tell people, huh? Yes, we will. Marcy, he's gonna be fine. <laughs> when he never would have gotten sick of a work for me.
clock is ticking, Todd. Getting Kevin Buchanan off your back will be my pleasure. Then do it. Stop yakking about it and do it. Do it right this time. Am I getting through to you? Do we have a deal? As long as all roads lead to the new Walker Lawrence, I'm a ghost. And I stay that way. And you get the girl. If you wrap me out, we both lose. If you screw this up, I'm going to do a lot more than rat you out. Time, Manning. Tick, tick, tick. Congratulations, Lieutenant Governor. <laughs> Boy, an accident like that really reminds you of what's important, doesn't it? Stop the double talk, Doss. All I'm saying is, you know, a life full of potential could be snapped out like that. You know what my advice to you is? Hmm. Be careful. Kevin, about that job offer, I I'm really interested, but... Oh, what is it? Well, I need an advance, and I wish I could explain, but... Look, you just saved Kelly's life, okay? I mean, you're engaged to my sister. I, I trust you. So, it's okay, then? If you need an advance, you got it. I mean, you know, I need to have someone around that I can trust, and, and that's you. Your family. You have to lie still. No, you have to I lie don't still. have to. You're gonna hurt yourself. Still. You're gonna hurt yourself out. Just lie still, okay? Just, just lie still. It's okay. It's okay. I need somebody in here. Help! Doc, Doc, he's hurt enough. We need a acetaminophen and a cooling blanket in exam room one. We're gonna get him cooled down. What is happening? He's delirious. His fever spiked. We've got to bring it down fast. Hi. Hi. Hi, Nora. Just proving that. Hi. I was just proving that Nora's got two left feet. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> Don't let me interrupt the party. Just ignore me the way you normally do. Want to know something? I had a fantastic time tonight. With Max. Hello? Hi, it's Max. Uh, I need to talk to Gabrielle. It's an emergency. Well, hey, Max. What's wrong? I'm in an Atlantic City hospital with Alan Marcy. They came up with some strange kind of infection. Uh, she needs to get here right away. It's bad. No, no, no. Don't get too comfortable. I did not take the necklace. I planned to. That was the whole point of the plan, but apparently you beat me to it. Why? Why did I ever trust you? I can't believe you double-crossed me again. Oh, that's it. That is my limit. You reached it, okay? Uh-huh. Mint. Compact. Lip gloss. Here, take it. Look through the purse to see if you find any priceless jewelry. Watch the martini, sister. Yeah? Maybe you would like to strip search me, huh? Take a rain check. I may be losing it, but I'm actually starting to believe you. Where are you going? I'm gonna find whoever did this.
Um, is there another way out of here? Is there a problem? I just, I ran into somebody I knew downstairs, and it's no problem, but I'd prefer not to run into them again. Take the fire stairs. Talking, lady. What the hell is this? Walker? What's going on? On the next One Life to Live. Take a look at that. There's nothing we can't do. You want me to break up Kelly's marriage? Guess who I found living right here in this hotel? The real Walker Lawrence. You may think you know what's going on here, but you don't. The original soap net show that was nominated for four Emmy Awards in its first season, including Best Host. Lisa and Ty give you inside access to the world of soaps every weekday at 9 a.m. and 7 p.m. Soap Talk, only on SoapNet, the new way to watch soaps.